tried and found guilty 
years, which is ridiculous if you ask me. And uh, they would not even serve their full time, really, because they were out and free in the year 1981, after only four years of being in jail.
decided to dispose of her body. So he dismembered her before doing that in the bathtub. The body parts were dropped nearby. Now this was a very interesting story. Remember that his lover, who is now in jail for life, is telling this story to the detectives. And when they check with the local police department where this happened, they confirmed that yes, indeed, his wife was missing and that he was a suspect, actually, of killing her, number one suspect. So now with Paul's statement, they tracked down. This is like the crazy part of the story because 
because they estimated that the age of the skull was about 1,800 years. You heard it here first. So this wasn't really Malika. This woman had died around 250 AD during the Roman occupation of Britain. It seemed like the seemed like in case the skull and preserved it. But he already confer- confessed. However, it was under an entirely false premise. Hearing that the head was not that of, you know, his wife, he filed a motion to confession but was denied. He was ultimately convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison. He died at Norfolk at uh, Norwich Hospital on August 17. Your support, your kind words, your kind.
comments, your likes. I appreciate each and every one of you. I currently mess with my eye and my sunscreen got inside, so I'm like sitting here talking to a microphone, <laughs> crying my eyes out. 